you haven't seen him in a while. I'm going to miss him. <laughs> He's in high school now. It is Sunday and we are going to go into H Mart. It has been a while since we've been here. Last and time I, we tried to record it in here, uh, the footage was not really. Yeah, we, I was using a different camera and it kept turning itself off, so... Lost the video. Lost all the video. So, uh, a few of you said, yeah, you would love to see inside of our H Mart. So, we actually have a few of these. We actually have a few Asian stores here in our mini area. So, this is one of them. Actually, we have an Asian district. Yeah, we have an Asian district. Across the street is Ranch 99, 99 Ranch. That's where we get the pickles from. Yeah. And then we just found another one uh, down... About five minutes from here, there is yet another one, the one we passed yesterday. So we'll have to go in that one another day. But today, we're going to go in here. We're going to get some dumplings. We're just going to browse around because they should have their holiday stuff out um, now. So um, it's a pretty big store. So we're going to take you with you. No, we're going to take you with us. Yeah, that's right. Right? What? We're going to take you I with you? I don't know. We're going to take you with you. No, you're gonna t we're going to take you with us, and we're going to go in the store. We're so going to take you with you. That's what, there we go. Okay, we'll see you inside. Okay, here we are walking into H Mart. You walk in, they have a display right here, and then over to your right. That right there is a jewelry store. Down that hallway, there is a bunch of little shops. There's a nail salon, hair salon. And then right here, we're walking into the produce section, which is huge, can I tell you? And like the fruits and vegetables are the apples and some of the citrus and stuff are just really, really huge. So we're just going to, uh, right here is palettes, so you can buy like big boxes of fruits and things. They have big box of mangoes. Look how big these are. We did pick up a few things you'll see here at the end. But I just wanted to have you like walk around the store with us. I'm not going to talk through everything. But um, yeah, we like coming here. Over here at the back, I'll show you a closer look over there. There's actual little restaurants. These are bunches of snacks, all different kinds. We like trying different snacks every time we go. Right here is those restaurants. You see Soba Dumplings. That Dumpling one is my favorite place. And then there's a few other places over here. This over here, they've got like sushi and stuff sitting out. They've got prepackaged food and kimchi and different things over here. The store is huge. I don't know what that stuff right there is. Well, let's face it. I don't know what a lot of this is, but... Everyone's really nice. You see uh, employees out and you like ask them, they'll tell you what it is. That's how I learned how to cook my dumplings. This right here is marinated meats. When it's not COVID, they actually are cooking them and let you taste them. And then this is the meat and fish section. Um, everything is packaged beautifully. It looks so pretty. Um, the meats and stuff are sliced like super thin and fanned out and packaged. So that's kind of cool. And then this is part of the like fish market section. So they have all this set out so you can buy it by the pound or however you want it. And then they have lobsters and tanks and other fish back there. And then this is a huge fish market area, so they have some more sushi right there, and then they have these fish laid out on ice, um, and then some behind the counter over there, and there's pictures up there, um, tells you what certain things are, and it tells you um, how you can ask them to get it ready for you if you want it filleted or however you want it done, so kind of cool. Kind of smells like fish right here, so I usually try to walk through pretty quickly. <laughs> Okay, and this is like the refrigerated pastry section. Nick is in here deciding what he wants. <laughs> this is right across from like the milks and different things. Um, these are little, look at these neat little filled cookies. This is a little cake. You'll see this later. He always has to pick out new things for us to try while we're here.
Okay, this is the alcohol section. <laughs> they have a whole little section here for alcohol, all sorts of sake. I love looking at the bottles. These are refrigerated right here, and then they have some on shelves. So I don't really know anything about it, but just looking at them and the bottles, and look at that. Isn't that kind of cool with pink on it? And then there's all sorts of different, there's different things in here. Look, the blue ones are pretty. Um, I don't know what it means, but I think they look really cool. And then you get down here and there's different beers. There's imported and domestics and um, all sorts of it. And then you come around the corner and they have more sake. They have mixers. They have wine. Um, and they've got that all through here, which is really kind of cool. And you get back here to these wooden displays, which are really pretty. And they have a lot of wine on those. So it's just really pretty to walk through here. Okay, this is my favorite section to walk through. This is like their home wares section. So here's a little sake set. I think this is maybe a, I don't, this, I don't know what this is. I thought maybe it was like a compost set. I don't know, I have not a clue. Uh, but they have all sorts of containers and these lids are going nowhere, can I tell you? They're these snap lids. i show you right here, look. Like you gotta pull to get that unsnapped. And they have glass ones and plastic ones and anything you need as far as a container is here, which is really kind of cool. So it's a little dish set, a little ceramic dish set, and they all had lids. I think it was $7.99 is what that said. Look at these cute little Mickey plates. I thought these were really neat. You like pull these out. That would be really cool for like your big spices. And then over here is just like some little pillows and some bedding. That was really heavy. I wonder if it's like not a doorstop or something, but. And then there is um, house shoes and more bedding. And then we're just gonna walk up and down these aisles. Look, here is all sorts of chopsticks. Things to place your chopsticks on. These are really pretty little teacup sets and uh, teapot sets. And then there's like a food dehydrator. Here we're going to get into lots of pots and pans and appliances. Um, these uh, squishy mats, like these are really durable looking. Uh, lots of pots and pans over here. Rice cookers, you're going to see some crazy prices on rice cookers. And then the dishes, so I'm just going to let you uh, just walk around and watch with me.
we're still in that homeware section. They've got toys out here, which they don't have a lot of. And this is like the little kid section. So they have these little kid, um, kind of like bento box kind of things. Um, all these little containers for their food and all the food like stays separated like it doesn't touch like look at that That's metal. So I mean you definitely couldn't like put that in the microwave, but that's really cool And then all these little containers look at this tiny little kid's cup So just some really neat stuff. I'm just gonna walk through this area. We get over into like cleaning stuff over here um, These are you can't tell but that is like the largest bowl I've ever seen and more ceramic plates and then at the back there's some cleaning stuff. is new these are large spices I don't know if you can tell but they're $3.99 so this whole display here is new since I was here last so that's like your mostly your normal everyday spices so I thought that was a really it was actually a really good price and then so we're over here in like the spices and stuff and then we are coming over to like the chips and snack aisle Here is a lot of different kinds of coffees and teas. I don't even think I show you all of them. This is one huge aisle. The coffee is instant coffee. Um, and then there's like instant teas and matcha teas and uh, loose teas and teas in bags and just a ton, can I tell you? This is really kind of neat to, to walk down. We've tried a few things over here before. So I thought we'd go ahead and do a haul here in the car because if we get home, we'll just forget. So you can show something and I show something. So we've oh, got right. Hello Panda. You guys caramel. have seen these. Yeah, this is caramel flavored. So this is the big box. You guys see the little individual ones at the dollar spot in Target? So you can open those. These, I have seen people buying these, eating them like in the food court area. And I tried to show you all a little bit of the food court. But these are mozzarella corn dogs. I don't think there's a hot dog in it. I think they are all mozzarella, like fried mozzarella on a stick. So we're gonna try these. Mm. In the air fryer, they actually feel really fat. Like that is one right there. So, okay, what do you think? Mm. Okay, so that's a Hello Panda if you haven't seen one. Nobody can see you. Almost has a coffee taste. Mm -hmm. It's really good though. 
Mm. You want to come a little bit? Look. There you go. Those are good. Then I got some dumplings. This is a, I always get chicken or just vegetable. This is chicken and vegetable. And this one actually has air fryer on it. I've tried air frying some of them before and they didn't turn out. So I probably won't do the whole bag. I'll probably do a few and see if they turn out. If not, the best way they told me inside to cook these when they first opened up was put them in the microwave and defrost them just a little bit. And then put them in the pan with just a little bit of oil and cook them on each side until they're done. So, I got, got those. Thing. I got another thing. Okay. Tell them what you got. Oh, no, you. Okay. And then I got some shelled edamame. I don't think Nick cares for this much, but I love just popping this in the microwave and then just eating them. Those are good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these look really cool. Um, and I guess they're like mochi, mochi, orange, orange mochi. So that's what it says, orange mochi. One these are in the refrigerator. So that's why we're pronouncing it this way. <laughs> <laughs> they look really good. It says, um, okay, so you, you want to open those and try those now or you want to wait? I'm trying everything. You're trying everything, okay. Alright, so there's one bag. Let him open that. I can open it. You want me to open it? Okay. Alright, one moment, please. Intermission. <laughs> right? Get your coffee, your tea. Porn on the table. You're already watching YouTube. Boy, I can't get this thing. Oh yeah, I'm actually doing that. I got a weird kind of thing. I got a can. A drink? Yeah, I got, it says orange. Are you gonna drink it or are you gonna wait and go home and put it over ice? I'm gonna drink it. Okay, well you can pop it and taste it and tell them what it tastes like. All else fails, get your pocket like, knife. Like, look, it's, it's, it's soda, it's like soda. Okay, there we go. Oh, this is really good. Pocket knife works every this time. This is real. I like this, it's really good. Alright, let me taste. Mmm. I like it. What's it tastes like? like? It tastes like if soap had a flavor and it was orange. Really? Okay. If soap had a flavor. Really? It tastes like soap? It's a really neat little if flavor. If soap had a flavor and it was, it would taste orange. It tastes like if soap had a flavor. It, uh, it tastes similar to me to those clear American drinks that we get from Walmart. Okay, so here is one. If you've never had one of these before, they kind of have a texture of kind of like cold Play-Doh. <laughs> mm, oh, Nick, that's going to fall right there, honey. I don't know where to put it. Well, just hold it for a minute. Here, sit it right. You can sit right there now. Okay. So this is what it looks like. It's got like powdery, mm, powdery like, sugar. With it, like... I know. <laughs> it feels like Play-Doh. But there's all way. Hmm. I'm trying to see you. Let's see inside. Mm -hmm. And for all the, and for everybody who's like my age, we, you, we're speaking of Play-Doh, you can remember whenever the fresh kind of Play-Doh smells like. <laughs> it's actually really good. We got something else to try. Uh, this is the first thing I wanted to try. Banana roll. You put everything in the car? Mm -hmm. Okay, I have... Some persimmons. Persimmons. And I have like the biggest apples ever. Can y'all see how big these are? And then I have just some oranges. They're like regular oranges. That's the size of the pomegranate. But the pomegranate is more bigger than these. Look how big this apple is. It's just huge. So I got some apples, some pomegranates, and some oranges. Where's your bag? I can open it. Alright, hold on. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, where's, uh, where's no, the tip of the orange water? Yeah, it tastes like a flat, a flat version of the of the uh, water that we get from Walmart in the okay. can. Whoa! All right, oh. you're wanting to try this too. Wait, can I? Don't. I thought it was that like that apple juice thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. All right, so let's see. This is um. Joito banana roll. Okay, so. Cut it open. And then. Okay. We're gonna take a bite. 
I'm not gonna eat that whole thing anymore. No, 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 I'm gonna slice it. So this is what it looks like. So it feels like a sponge cake. So. Well, okay, move your hand, I'll give you it, it to you. It tastes kind of like a dry sponge. I mean, it feels it like... It feels like a dry sponge, yeah. It's like a sponge cake. You can smell the banana, let me tell you. Mmm. <laughs> you can smell it. The banana smells strong. It's a strong banana smell, and it's got like a cream. I think it's supposed to be banana cream in the middle. It's so. like what I pictured it tastes like. The closer when you get it to your mouth, all you smell is banana. It's like strong banana. Mm. This would be really good with um, a coffee, a hot coffee, or a tea. Milk. Or milk. For all the five-year-olds watching. Mm. Milk. Okay. Is there anything else in your bags? Is that it? It's for 44 hours. We man. got pickles. They're not pickles. Those are cucumbers. I love these. Uh, what do they call these? Persian cucumbers? These are really good. Hand me your bag. I gotta yeah, put this thing. back in. Oh yeah, ready for the best thing of all that goes with literally anything. Lethals! <laughs> yeah, we got the uh, low sodium Kiko Man soy sauce. Okay, what's that other bag down there? That was everything. Okay. What was in the other bag? I'm not, look, I'm not eating another one of these. You can have one too. No, put it, I want to put the box away. We're getting ready to go. Okay, there's nothing else in that bag? We're done? Nope. We're done, guys. We're done. So that was our H Mart trip and haul. I hope you enjoyed walking around the store with us. It was actually, it's actually busy. Um, Trivia, <laughs> one up, uh, so, time. time. Uh, what was your favorite thing you tried? Yeah, what was your favorite thing that we tried? Uh, so we tried the, the orange moochie. We tried these panda candies. And we tried favorite. the banana cakes. And that was it, right? We're going to go home you know and we're going to try the mozzarella on a stick, the fried mozzarella. Um, so we'll do that. We're so, gonna, well, yeah, we'll, we'll, we're going to do this that. So, yeah, so we'll, I might put a clip of that in here or I might add that to another video. We'll see. Uh, I think I'm going to try cooking with the air fryer. So if we try that, one, then I'll add it to this, to then, this clip. Then be like one in the oil and one in the air fryer. Oh, you want to do one? In, well, I think they probably cook better in the air fryer. We'll cook one in the air fryer. We'll show you. We'll share that with you. It may not be this video. It might. We'll just see. We get home and, and what was your favorite thing you tried? Oh, I don't know. I kind of like the caramel panda cookies. They're really good. Not my favorite. Too. They're, yeah, they're really good. And that box is uh, 10 of these little packages in it. And it's $3.99. So it's actually not a bad price. Um, there is a few things I didn't get to show you in there because it was really busy. I didn't show you a lot of the frozen food stuff, um, and I didn't show you the bakery up front. It was really busy. Um, but we'll go hit a different store. Let us know if you like this. If you, I, I know not everybody has, you know, different international kind of ethnic stores in their area. So uh, we have, like I said, three total. Plus we've got Daiso. Plus, there's a lot of uh, restaurants and little shops and stuff. So, if you want to see more of this, if you like it, definitely give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment. Uh, if there's something you heard about that's here in our area that you haven't tried, it's not in your area, let us know. And we will definitely go check it out and share it with you guys. Comment down below. Let's make this uh, a poll, kind of. Uh, Daiso or 99 Ranch? Yeah, Daiso is like a Japanese dollar store, or 99 Ranch is a Japanese grocery store. H Mart is more of a Korean grocery store. So let us know if you want to go to one of those two next, or if there's anywhere else you'd like us to go. And remember to stop and thank God for today because it truly is a gift. And we'll see you next time. Hit that bell and subscribe. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. All right, y'all. So we're going to try these that we got at H Mart. These are these mozzarella only corn dogs. So. We've got five sticks, keep them frozen, and we can air fry. And the good thing about these is they do have instructions in English, not always. Um, okay, so we're going to remove from packaging one stick at 360 for 12 minutes. So I'm going to do two, so we'll see. Um, let's go up here. Okay, and mine... So that's 320, 400, we'll say probably right about there. All right, hold on. Okay, well, this is cool. 
they come individually wrapped. So I can totally get rid of the packaging. Here they are. It's just like a four dog. Look at that. They have the instructions on it. Look how cool that is. Okay, let me get that out. There you go. This is what they look like. They're kind of blurry, sorry. They're actually really big. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. I'm going to. My air fryer is well loved, can't y'all tell? Okay, so let's set so these down there. I always find things do better if I spray them. So. Let's do this about 10 minutes. All right, I'll see you on 10 minutes. Oh, okay. This is what they look like out of the air fryer after about hot, <laughs> after about 12 minutes. Because I don't have a pot holder. I'm gonna give this one to Nick. I'm gonna take the one that I think is a little smaller. Ooh, hot. These are very, very hot. Okay. Ooh. All right. I'm going to let that cool down for a minute and take it in a nick and have him take a bite and see what he thinks. Mm -hmm. I am now. Oh. Alright, so this is the uh, whatever it's called, mozzarella hot dog, corny dog. Mozzarella. Show it. Oh. Let me see what it looks like on the inside. It's just all cheese. Oh, it is good. Okay, so here's mine. Alright, let's see here. Ooh. That's good use of ketchup. Oh, we've been out all day. I'm a hot mess. So. Yeah, this could use a lot of ketchup. Oh. It's delicious. Oh, there's ketchup in there. Hmm? What? Of course, I don't know. Mmm. Mm hmm. There you go. I'm gonna get some ketchup. Mmm. Or ranch or marinara sauce or something. Hmm. That batter on the outside is different than what we all normally think of, like a mozzarella stick. Where is it again? In the refrigerator. The one up front. In the bottom, be careful. Hmm. Definitely needs a sauce or something. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I'm pretty good snack. I got the wrong thing.